Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a different video. I'm actually going to be trying out a different heatless curl method. I love heatless curls. I've been using heatless curls for the last few months. Like I just, I think they're amazing. This is the one I use from Kitsch. I'll kind of talk more about it in a little bit. I've just seen this other method. The one I do is like where you have curls away and towards your face, which I love. It adds a lot of volume, but there's another method I want to try where it's all of them are away from your face. We're going to see how it works out because this one's a little bit different too, because this is flat. So either I'm going to show you the way I always do it, or we're going to try the new method. The new method is first. That's the one I want to try, and then if it doesn't work out, then I'll do my old method. Very excited because I love heatless curls. These are actually, I touched up like around my face today. It's been like four days since I last did this. All of this right here is from like four days ago when I did heatless curls. That's what today's video is going to be on. I hope you guys are excited. If you are, definitely keep watching, and let's go ahead and hop on into it. <laughs> So I'm gonna be washing and drying my hair completely like my hair will be completely dry before I put my heatless curler in and then the one I like to use is this one from Kitsch this is their XL one so it's a little bit thicker and a little bit longer than the original one I do have the original one this was like their Barbie collab um, but you can see the difference here it's a little bit longer and it's definitely thicker I'm gonna give you a bigger wave which I prefer so this is just the one that I like to go to and the one I've been using a ton lately I think I still have a coupon code for this we're going to wash and dry my hair. I am going to be using the Divi shampoo. I'm almost out of this. I'm like down to here. I actually just purchased another one today from Ulta. And I'm also going to use the Whey Detox shampoo as well. So I'm going to use this one first, this one second. And then I'm going to go in with my Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Great combo. I haven't used this in a while. I just saw it today and I was like, you know what? I want to use that again because I haven't used it in so long. And then for post shower, I will be detangling with the In Common Magic Mist. This is amazing if you have tangly hair. I have such tangly hair. Before I blow dry, I put this day in. It's the Cactus Fruit 3 in 1 Styling Cream. I put it from like my ears down and then I'll put a little bit on top and around my bangs here. I know a lot of people use it to style their hair, but I've always applied it before blow drying my hair and I've been loving it. It says you can apply a small amount to damp or dry hair and style is desired, which for me is blow drying it. And I'm not going to do anything crazy blow dry wise. I'm just going to blow dry it with my Shark Flex style and then we'll get to curling the hair. So I'm going to hop on into the shower. I'm going to exfoliate, shave everything. Usually when I'm doing heatless curls and washing my hair, it's like one of those nights where I'm going to self tan and like the next day I'm going to feel so good, you know? <laughs> so anyways, let's dive on into it. The method is upside down heatless curls. Now the ones I've seen don't have this flat edge right here, but I'm thinking it'll be okay. It should be fine. So basically they take it around their head and bring it towards the front like this, and then they loop it around like that. So then all the curls are gonna be away from your face. The hair is completely dried. I'm not adding any extra product. I'm gonna do one more brush because I don't want a lot of tangles. And then I just split my hair in half. Hey darling, did you churn the butter this afternoon? This is not a churning butter look. This is gonna be something different. Uh, so you're gonna bring this up and then the girlies tie it. I've never tried this method, so hopefully it looks good. <laughs> looks like I have a poodle pool noodle up in my head. Okay. I had to go into my clip archive and get the biggest clip I got. So I'm just gonna Oh, not on the extension, hopefully. Take a piece, however much you want. Let's see if I can get closer. Wrap it around, get it underneath, pull, add your next piece. And you're just going to loop this all the way around and just add hair as you go. Supposedly they say it's easier to sleep in. I mean, what I've slept in is not bad, 
um, like the other method I do, which I'll leave my little Instagram video I did. It was a, just a quick video of it down below. But to me, it's not uncomfortable. But I mean, I'm, prob I'm sure it is for some other people. I also do sleep on my stomach. I'm taking pretty thick sections. So again, you just want to take it over, meet it at the other side with your finger and pull through. It feels pretty secure so far. I actually like that you can do quite a bit of hair at once. It's pretty nice. I just add a little bit more in there. I have a lot of hair. We're going to have a lot to wrap, so we'll see how this goes. Sometimes with the regular method that I've been doing, I have to do it a couple times to like get my fingers working how they're supposed to. I'm a little nervous I'm not going to have enough room for all this hair, but we'll see. Stays in pretty well though, like I'm not even holding on to it. But now I just got to get it back wrapping around. I mean, it's kind of like wrapping on top of each other at this point. I don't know if that's good or bad. Okay, so I'm going to leave this right here for now. I'm going to just kind of scrunchie that off. And I'm going to work on wrapping the other side. It doesn't feel crazy. I'm just nervous that the ends of my hair are going to be wrapped super tight, whereas the top won't be. But so far, so good. I mean, very easy to do. Okay. Like, I wonder if I should have just gone up higher. Maybe, like, loosen this up a little bit and had more room to work with. I want to try that. I'm going to rewrap it. Hold on. You're probably gonna see a little bit of the result because <laughs> usually when I start wrapping it, I can already start to see like my hair doing its thing. Yeah, you can already start to see it starting to curl the hair. It looks really pretty. I wonder if there's a way I can like hair bow this, like tie this up. That way it's not in my way. I don't use it. That might mess up my in pieces but this is what I'm going to try. I'm going to try it like this that way I can get as much of the rod as possible and I'm not using the flat end of it. The flat end is great for the other method that I do where it's like laying at the top of my head but this one it's just not gonna work so let's try it again. All right. I look for the things I don't know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know So far Let's do this side The other piece of hair And the one I have in my hand I'm going to tie those together it somehow I got it all wrapped up in there I have no idea how oh I missed a piece oh kind of that's okay not terrible for having a lot of hair but hopefully it stays in place so we're gonna go to sleep and I will see you in the morning okay guys it's the next day let's take out these heatless curlers let's cross our fingers this wasn't super uncomfortable it actually is really nice because they're not tied like super tight in my opinion they're just rolled back I'm a little bit nervous about my ends since I have such long hair. I don't know necessarily what I did back here, but we're gonna find out. So let's take him out. Wait, how the F are you supposed to get your hair out? <laughs> Looking good. Honestly. I'm here for it. They're gonna fall throughout the day. But look at all that. Oh my goodness. That looks so good. Yeah, I kind of messed up my ends because I didn't know what I was doing. The 
gosh, it gave so much volume up here. And that is what I love the most, I think. See, there's like one piece that isn't fabulous back here, but it doesn't really matter because once it falls, you're not even gonna know. Other than that, I mean, the hair is curled. But again, my favorite part about this is when the hair kind of like relaxes. So I'm going to go do my morning routine, get everything I need done. I'm gonna come back when my makeup's done and I'll show you guys what this hair looks like. Okay, I'm gonna put a little lip gloss on because I need something over this lip color. That was not the color to put on. This is what my hair looks like after a few hours. I really like the way that they fall. I truly don't know which method I like more. I'm just taking some of the day styling cream and kind of running it through. This is a great like multi-purpose styling cream. I really like the way that they turn out. I could definitely work on my ends as you can see here. I do like the fact that the curls are all away from the face. So if you need to go in with a curling iron, it's easy just to take it back. You know, I feel like it's always more difficult to do curls towards your face. Nonetheless, I think they look really good. I'm very pleased with the outcome. I think I'll like them even more as the days go on. Let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments if you're going to try it out. This is definitely the easiest method that I've tried out of like three of the ones that I've, you know, done to my hair. But nonetheless, it was so easy to do. And like I said, I'll leave the other method I used down below. But if you want a video on that, just let me know. And yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next one.